So we had a pretty big freeze here a couple years ago. And what I noticed is that a lot of my coping tile started to really crack and, and the mortar in between the tile, the, the stone was cracking. And this flexible uh, sealant in between the rest of the patio and the coping here, which is above the gunite for the pool, uh, is really starting to pull back. And then water was getting into that crack and, and then expanding when it froze here, which doesn't normally happen. This is Texas. And so what I'm going to do is go through and remove all of that old uh, mastic that's in there and then replace it with a new uh, poured in with a, with a caulking gun, uh, new mastic. Here are the only tools you're going to need to do this job. You're going to need an old uh, razor blade, something that you don't care about getting banged up, something disposable because you're gonna be cutting uh, into the mastic along the edge of that stone. You're gonna need a set of knee pads because it's it's hard work, you're on your hands and knees. And then you're gonna need a caulking gun. In this case, this is a larger size caulking gun because the material I got that I'm gonna put in is this self-leveling sealant. Uh, this brand is uh, Sikaflex and I got the sandstone color. This is the 29 ounce tube and it wasn't very expensive. It was only $14. Here's a look at some of that, they call it backer rod, which is this just styrofoam noodle uh, that you can use to put down into the, into the crack between your coping and the main deck so that it fills up any space in there uh, so that you don't have to use uh, just a ton of mastic to fill that gap. Uh, in my case, I'm not gonna actually need this. I'm gonna take this back. I, I found that the masons put sand down in there. I guess that would work as well. And also the, the crack I have on the coping Pretty tight, so this stuff would just barely fit, and this was the smaller size that's offered. This was the uh, 3 8 So that's just an option in case that fits for your situation. One thing I noticed here was that the people who built this pool, the masons, filled in this, this separation between the, the coping and the patio with sand to take off that space before they put that mastic in uh, to cover it up. So I'm not going to take a uh, shop vac and, and try to vacuum out whatever, whatever uh, piece of the mastic I can't get out. I'm just going to try to pull that all out with the, the knife because um, I don't want to take that sand out of there and have to replace it because otherwise you might run out of mastic just filling in that gap. So here's some observations uh, about this sealant. It's very liquidy. I'm talking about like, you know, warm peanut butter. When you put it on an English muffin and it starts to melt off the sides, it's just like that. And uh, if the gap is any more than a half inch, which is what they recommend you stay below, you'll immediately get pocketing like this. So I'm gonna have to come back again. I'm gonna let this firm up a little bit and then I'm gonna come back again and then hit another little bit on top. They say not to seal a crack with less than a quarter of an inch, but not more than a half. So you're, it's in a tight, tight uh, range there. But it goes in uh, very fast out of the tube. The tube on the directions, it says 36 linear feet uh, with that, you know, basically qu quarter inch um, gap that you're sealing. And they're probably right, because uh, even though I got that larger tube, I'm going to need another one. So I had a few gaps that were thicker than a 
than a half an inch and like this one here um, I had to pour a bunch in in some places so I'm gonna have to go back and, and fill those in I'm just hoping this firms up enough that I can put another layer on top and not not mess up the finish uh, but it goes in nice and clean and that self leveling uh, it's so thin like I said it balances out but you know I wish it had a little bit more thickness like a toothpaste versus um, you know almost like a thick chocolate milk all right so lesson learned here you might need more of this caulking than you think you do so these are three of the big tubes and i could actually use one more but i ran out and uh what i'm finding is this stuff this self-leveling it is very very fine and it gets into every small little uh, depression in your uh, gap and so you've got to put some sand in there or some good backing to reduce that amount of drip that goes down because it'll just keep going in and going in I'll give you some examples here now. So here you can see it looks pretty good in here. And then down at the end here, I got like a pocket where it's continuing to uh, flow down in. So I keep letting it harden up a little bit and pour some more in and it just keeps pouring in there. And you can see down the end here as well, I've got to fill that in uh, further. So the rest of this came out pretty good. It's messy stuff. When you got to clean up, you probably want a rag with some acetone because it's very sticky and it doesn't wipe up easily off the off your tile. So, well, hey, I hope this was helpful to you to learn how to replace that sealant between your coping and your patio. Uh, and if it was, please give the video a thumbs up. That'll help other people find it as well. And as always, have a great day.